Hi, this is Rob Waller from Business Loan Services and welcome to my Friday Business Finance Bulletin, a weekly roundup of news tips, ideas and strategies on raising finance and dealing with banks. Well, if you're watching this on the video as opposed to on the podcast, you'll actually see that I'm on location this week. Um, I'm here at the University in Bangor, North Wales. I've been running um, a growth session this morning for delegates on the Lead Wales Entrepreneurship Growth Programme, and we've been talking about access to finance and growth strategies generally. A great morning, as usual, debating about banks and access to finance generally. So what have I got for you this week? Well, I've been looking at a quick case study about how we've turned a no into a yes for a client. Um, also some crowdfunding news and in my tip of the week a clip from a seminar uh, that I recently did looking at how exactly crowdfunding works. So let's start off with a recent case study that we had. Um, we had an interesting client come and visit us a couple of weeks ago. Um, they were looking to raise money in order to acquire a competitor. Obviously needed cash for that acquisition but unfortunately they'd had a no from the bank. Um, so we worked with them, we represented the case and we got a bank to say yes. But here's the thing, the bank that said yes was exactly the same bank that three weeks previously had said no. Now, yeah, how do we do that? Well, it was a case of, first of all, we looked at the business plan. The business plan was great, but it didn't actually have all the things within the format that banks would like to see. So it made it very difficult for them to get to understand really what the business was about, but more importantly, the opportunity that the business had in front of them. So we looked at all the key risks of the business facing, how they were going to mitigate them. More importantly, we also looked at all the financial information and we analysed it. We drew conclusions from it. Um, we put a commentary together about how the business was going to go from here up to there and how that was going to be achieved and the financial impact it would have. It made a compelling case and in the end the bank saw that and we turned that no into a yes. So whilst we can read the media and listen to all the complaints about banks saying no, clearly they are, but you've got to make sure that you're presenting your business in the very best light, making sure that you're tackling all of the issues, um, particularly on the risk side, and presenting the financial information correctly. And hopefully, do that right, you can also turn a no into a yes. But what if you still get the no? Well, as we know, crowdfunding is a great alternative. And some crowdfunding news out this week. Um, rate setter. Um, rate setter now is on the consumer market, so personal loans. Um, but obviously business owners like you will also have personal loan requirements. Now in their fourth year of trading and in the month of September just announced that they had a record month of raising £30 million in one month. And that's recognised to probably be one of the industry largest figures of money raised in one month. So well done rate setter. Funding Circle also just come out with their annual accounts 2013 and they show that they've had a jump in uh, sales of 177%. They've gone from 1.9 million to just over 5 million pounds in turnover. That's a massive leap. So again, just shows you know, how the sector is beginning to grow. I'm also read a report from the crowdfunding centre that took a look at the crowdfunding scene globally and it's a quarterly report that they come out with and they reckon now that in the, the last quarter of April to June they reckon now that there are 50,000 crowdfunding pledges being made every day globally and that's huge so I'm sure you'd like a slice of that pie. What about uh, again back to the UK another landmark set by a company called Chapel Down. Now Chapel Down are a winemaker in the southeast and they just recently raised four million pounds from Cedars uh, so four million pounds in equity. Now why this uh, particular raise um, was so interesting is that Chapel Down is already a company listed publicly. They've already got the shares out in the open market and yet they decided not to go to the investor base but to go down the crowdfunding route. And they successfully did that. I think about 1,400 investors took a slice of the, of the four million pound that was raised. So a great example that well-established businesses are beginning to go down the crowdfunding route. So just check them out, cedars.com, Ratesetter, Funding Circle, and all of the other crowdfunding sites that are out there. Now, crowdfunding, if you're not really sure what it's all about, this is my business tip of the week. Uh, recently, um, I did a session for ACCA, uh, which is the accountancy body for the accountancy profession. And um, one clip uh, was that I was looking at was exactly what is crowdfunding, because many people don't know, including the accountancy session. So what we were looking for was to educate them. And in this clip, you'll see me talking about what exactly crowdfunding is and how it works. So let's go to that clip now. Let's go into the last one, lending. Now this is where it's really exciting, where it comes mainstream. 
and the reason why it is quick and it is easy and it works more or less the same way I've got a, bu a business who wants to borrow and we've got you guys sitting here with money burning a hole in your bank account and the crowd lending websites sit in the middle so the business owner comes with a proposal I want to borrow fifty thousand pounds over five years to buy a new piece of kit the credit assessment teams the lending people they look at it they either say no you're not for us and off they go or they say yep we're happy to list you on our platform so the request is listed on the platform here's the company ABC limited it wants five thousand uh, fifty thousand pounds It's paying it over five years here's the deal um, I click on here to see all the financials and the information behind it so you do that and this is where it differs now with the equity here then you actually place a bid as to how much interest you want to, the company to be charged so I want 50 grand we come here first of all you're the first one you look at it and you think I really like this business I'm gonna pledge hundred pounds I only want eight percent come over here you've got a bit of industry knowledge and you say, I'm not so keen on it, but I get where they're coming from. I'll do £50, pound, but it's a bit riskier for me, so I want 11%. So you want 8, you want 11. And it goes around, £100, pounds, someone wants 9%. £200, pounds, someone wants 7%. And it goes around, and eventually, ding, 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 the £50,000 pound is raised. When the bidding period is cut off, then, the money is raised like a Dutch auction on bottom up. So you get your money away, because you only asked for us 8% goes up and eventually the 50,000 is filled at 10% you bid 11% you don't your money's not lent because you you bid too high okay and then it's set up exactly like a normal loan account the money is given to the business owner the security is taken I'll talk about that in a sec the money's dropped into the account and then every month like a loan the business owner sends a standing order standing order set up or direct debit and it just gets paid every month and then you get every month a little bit of the capital back and interest into your virtual bank account that you hold with these people so you get your money back drip fed every month and that's how crowdfund how crowd lending works so there we are that's how crowdfunding works i hope you found that useful so that's it for this week um, i hope you enjoyed it and as ever if you did please uh, share the video on the social media send it amongst your friends it all helps spread the message about how to make access to finance that much easier so thanks very much for being with me i look forward to being with you again next friday until then have a great successful and profitable week see you next week bye bye now